Hello my dear students, let's start about understanding the refraction when the light ray it passes through a glass prism, a solid glass prism. What does it looks like? This glass prism has total five faces, two out of which the two faces they are the triangular faces as you can see I am drawing it over here and the remaining three faces they are the rectangular faces so I have drawn a kind of 3d picture over here so that you can imagine what does it looks like so that means there are two triangular faces one in the front which I am shading and one in the back and the remaining will be the triangle uh, rectangular faces two on the sides I am shading it with the brown shade these are the two two rectangular faces on the sides and the third one forms the base of it so this is the third phase right that means in glass prism total there are two are triangular faces and remaining three are rectangular faces in a solid glass prism now let us start with the ray diagram to understand the refraction of light when it passes through a glass prism we will take or we will draw one incident ray oblique passing through this prism at the point of incidence draw a perpendicular to this vert vertice this is normal number one this incident light this is the incident ray this incident ray is a single wavelength of light it is considered to be a single wavelength of light or we can say that we are studying the refraction by taking a single color of light or we can also say that this single color is a monochromatic light. So we are studying the refraction through the glass prism by taking a single wavelength or a single color or a monochromatic light. This is the incident ray. The angle between the incident ray and the normal it is represented by I and this I it is the angle of incidence the angle between the incident ray and the normal. Now as we know that this incident ray it, if there is no refraction if there is no change in the medium then it should move straight it will travel straight. So let us draw by extending it the actual path which it should have followed if there had been no refraction of light but since now it is traveling from air which we consider as a rarer medium into the glass which is a denser medium we know that whenever the light travels from rarer to denser medium it will not go straight it will move or bend towards normal this is the rule which we have done earlier but there is another rule also in case of especially in case of prism we can say that in prism this is a standard rule for only prism the refraction or the bending of light it occurs always irrespective of rarer to denser or denser to rarer towards the base of the prism so in case of the prism only we can follow this standard rule also 
that the refraction or the band bending of light will take place always towards the base of the prism irrespective whether it is entering into the prism or it is leaving the prism so here the base of the prism is this one so it will not go straight it will bend towards the base that means towards the downward direction like this so we will draw one ray this is the change in path of the ray and this ray is which ray this is regarded as the refracted ray and the angle between the refracted ray and the normal this is called angle of refraction this is angle of refraction again at the second exit also we will draw the normal you can use d also to draw a perpendicular this is normal number 2 this is again the angle between refracted ray and normal again this is angle r now again it is traveling from uh, the denser medium to rarer medium so it will bend away from normal or otherwise we can take that it will always bend towards the base base is downward so it will be bending towards the base that means in the downward direction so this is the last ray we know that this last ray which finally emerges out is known as the emergent ray and the angle between the emergent ray and the normal is called angle of emergence we will extend this behind to find where it will meet the incident ray and now we can easily find out we can make out the angle between the incident ray and the emergent ray this angle is represented by this symbol delta and is known as angle of deviation so this angle is called angle of deviation why because we know that the ray the original path was this and it has been displaced from this point to this point that means there is a deviation of this ray by this angle which is called angle of deviation so this is the refraction of light when we are using a single wavelength or a single color or a monochromatic light when it passes through a prism in the next video we will take up the incident ray as the white ray of light and we will understand what will happen when a white ray of light will pass through a glass prism thank you for watching students